Hi friends, welcome to JQ command tutorials and this is Narendra instructor for this course. First let me go with prerequisites for this course. See they are like you should have some Linux or Mac system to practice and basic knowledge on command line. I mean how to execute commands on your command line and the basic uses of pipeline and redirection. Let me give some of the examples for your pipeline and redirection. See here echo output we are pipelining to grep command and this same concept you can also write in this way using redirection symbol. So for this course you should have basic knowledge on how to use pipelines and how to use redirections and basic knowledge on JSON data structure. That means JSON is like a key value pair representation. So what is a key and what is a value? So that much knowledge is required to go through this course. And some basic knowledge on how to use editors uh, like command line editors they are like VI or VIM or some GUI editors they are like Visual Studio Code editor, Sublime Text editor likewise. And basic knowledge on bash shell scripting because after completing the JQ command usage we will also go through bash shell scripts. I mean we will implement some bash shell scripts by using this JQ command. There we need some basic knowledge on bash shell scripting. And just make a note, while going through our course, to practice with JQ command, we will use the response of REST API and also sometimes uh, we will use AWS CLI commands output because here these two REST API response and AWS CLI commands output we can get as a JSON data and that JSON data is useful to practice with JQ command. See we can also get some online REST APIs. You can use those REST APIs for your practice. Of course, sometimes I will implement uh, custom REST APIs so that it is better to understand uh, with uh, JQ command usage. And finally, what you will learn here. Anyway, our main motto is learning JQ command usage to work with JSON data or how to parse JSON data with JQ command. And then how to use JQ commands in bash shell scripts. So these two are the main concepts which we are going to learn in this course. Thank you.